Shalom, or praise the Yahweh Hashem, Yahushua Hashem, if I could ask. The one who said the pastor's at Great Millstone, salutes you, Rose, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. Um, so this is a quick video here. What I've done is I've put a video up on RDC. Gonna start, uh, keep loading up there. I haven't put something up on there for, but I'm gonna. Uh, get some more stuff up on the Odyssey and as you can see the title is something that I can't pull up on here um, You know because you're gonna clip it, but you know, there's different topics in this video uh, You know we're going to icons a touch on icons touch on um, You know just touch on um, some scriptures to do with Amalek and all of that touch on a couple other stuff she made a statement. I'm not going to go all into that. Uh, because that might get it clipped. A couple other things in there. A little bit of history of uh, Amalek. And the, um, Constantinople. And the, the Ottoman Turks. What I'm going to do, I, mean, I might do a follow-up to it and go more in-depth into this. I just kind of touched on some stuff, you know what I mean? But, um, uh, let me read the scripture here. What the hell's looking up? <laughs> you know, because you got people that... Anyway, um, Zechariah 9 and 6. A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Right? We know what that's talking about. Uh, what I wanted to do is Genesis. There it goes. To, is it Gen I must get it. I'll just type this in. Genesis 36, of course. Uh, let's read a bit of this. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. Alright, and it just goes into him. But let's read there and yeah, let's read this part, yeah. It says, These were the dukes, the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenaz, Duke Korah, Duke Gatam, and Duke Amalek. So it is all these different dukes. Um, and obviously you got these Amalekites there running there. Uh, um, I don't know why it keeps doing that. By the way, we're the true Israelites. Let me get the icon up, back up. So like I said, I'm not. I've already. I'm not gonna. Satan, man, I'm not moving the phone, it just keeps bouncing around. You know, there's stuff like this in there because we know who uh, the who the the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And we know why certain individuals have stolen our identity and why you can't talk on them. We we're aware of that. Why and, and why they've done that. And like I said, uh, I'm gonna put the link in. As you can see, you can see the. That's supposed to be supporter or something. Uh, I forgot to put the word in at the end there. I can pull it in. Um, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They're at the top. You know what I'm at? Fact, let me get that um, scripture as well. In numbers. Uh, right there. I'll oh, oh, hit the point. Numbers. Oh man, I don't know what's doing it. Numbers 25 and 20. And when he looked on Amalek, he, looked, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Now, we're going to be on top. 
Let's get that. So that links up with the uh, what, we what we're going to read in the Apocrypha. Because even when you go before, we look at this, Numbers 24, 19. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth for this city. Now let's read... Uh, read this I need to get a new Apocrypha app I'm not really a fan of this one I mean it does a job well, does a job second is just it's not too bad you know what I mean pretty pretty clear you can see the stuff uh, second is just 9 verse uh, uh no, no, six, we want six and nine. Uh, I'm just going to get to the point again. Don't ask why it's doing that. I don't know. Uh, second is just nine, six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. To bind their kings and nobles in fetters of iron. They're going to lose all his power. You know, that's what the scripture says. I beheld Satan who fell as fast as lightning. Just like that, they're going to lose all his power. Now, what you, all these different nations are supporting Amalek out there. You know, America, the UK, certainly in certain of these nations. You know, and, uh, you know, the scripture says the least shall draw them out. These are the certain scriptures, but... These individuals are, are pulling the strings. And, um, you know, Apostle Gabar always brings out the uh, document, um, documentary, the uh, documentation. And it's called uh, Master Plan of the Illuminated Rothschilds. And, they, you know, they go into um, how uh, it goes into how really they know that. You know, Rothschilds means what? Red Shield. Okay, Esau, Edom, Red. Okay, and they go into how um got them call coming through. Some important call. I'm gonna cut this one off short anyway. But they go into how Um, what was I just saying? I can slow my thoughts. That's my thoughts. Um, and anyway, oh yeah, they're going to tell, um the uh, so they're going to tell really that they know that they're Edomites. They know they're Edomites, man. But they just don't that term. They don't want to be called by that term. And they know the Israelites are ruling next, and they want to do away with the real Israelites. They're trying to do away with the Most High's, uh, 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 the Most High's realm and itself. So that so they they're trying to usher us usher us out there and get themselves in. Now um, I'm gonna do another video on that. They you know they're not doing anything that the Israelites they they're, they're of Satan. And that's just the bottom line. They're the ones behind all these. If your eyes are open, this global Satanism and things that you see, clearly then, that's why when you go in there, the same people that say, oh, I'm, a, I'm this and I'm that, these Amalekites and that, these banking families, they got all types of statues of pagan Roman gods and all of this stuff. So come on, man, give me a break. You could type it in right now. Uh, there's a statue of evil in Rothschilds with uh, Jacob and they've got, I don't know if it's Apollo or Ar Artemis or one of those gods and something behind them. This is what they're into, man. So I might do a live on these false gods or certain, but what I'm, I am going to do is... Uh, this video is pretty much just... Um, I'm going to post a link in the description box. And this video is pretty much just to get you to... Uh, check out that video that I got. On the, um, on the Odyssey, man. Which I'll be putting some more stuff up on there. With that, I'm going to say Shadow One.